Hello again, Catherine Grayson Nance here, developer advocate for Kendo React. So there are a lot of UI components that we take for granted, things that we see and that we use all the time without really thinking about. They've become such a normal part of our web browsing experience that even as developers, we don't really stop to consider all the moving parts. Well, until we're tasked with building one ourselves. The calendar is very much one of those deceptively simple components. It feels like such a given that we don't actually realize how much thought and design goes into it. But if you have ever been tasked with making one from scratch, you quickly learn just how much time and effort it really takes. In these situations, sometimes we're told, just use the default HTML element. And it's true, these days there are significantly more default UI components that we get in HTML, way more than there used to be. But sometimes they still don't really do everything that we need them to do. There are perks to using these defaults, usually in the areas of accessibility and implementation speed, but there can also be some very significant drawbacks, especially in terms of customization and feature options. So today we're going to compare and contrast the Kendo React calendar component with the default HTML calendar, looking at all the different features and UX decisions that go into a robust and full featured component library. Because sure, you could just use the default unstylable HTML calendar, but why when you could have a smoother and faster user experience, a set of beautiful pre-made themes, easy globalization, and so much more. So let's take a look. Let's start with the most obvious, the way that the component actually looks to your users. One of the biggest downsides to using that default HTML calendar is that the design has not been standardized across the browsers. Here are some examples from Chrome, Firefox, and Safari. You can see that it's not just the look and feel, but also the user experience that is very different for each one. And this isn't even taking into account the mobile experience. This is just desktop. Ideally, your users should always have the same experience regardless of their browser choice. So this is a little bit of a bummer. When you use the Kendo React calendar component though, you can guarantee a consistent experience for your users, no matter how they're accessing your application. Our components have been thoroughly cross-browser tested and are guaranteed to render exactly the same way in all modern browsers. The other notable downside to using default HTML is that you don't really get any control over the UX of the component. You just kind of get what you get. And if you wanted to add additional functionality or on the flip side, limit the experience to only be exactly what's relevant for your users, then you're just kind of out of luck. The Kendo React calendar, on the other hand, has a wide variety of options when it comes to customization. You could remove that fast navigation bar along the left-hand side, or add week numbers along the edge of the calendar view. Or maybe you get really ambitious and you want to customize all of it. You could add emojis to a particular day to indicate a special holiday or a birthday, change the colors, change the typefaces. Every single part of the Kendo React calendar, from the individual day cell, the week cells, the navigation items, the title, all of it can be overridden with a custom render, so this calendar can look however you want it to look. Speaking of theming, let's talk a little bit about that. When you're using a default component, you can't be too surprised when it looks, well, you know, default. The native components, of course, are not going to match the theme and the styles that you've chosen for your application. And they're also notoriously difficult, if not impossible, to overwrite the styles for, which of course has to do with the way that every browser renders it differently. So when it's really important for your calendar component to match the look and feel of the rest of your page, then that means it's time for you to look for something that offers you a little bit more control. In addition to all of that customization you can do to the actual functionality of the calendar, the Kendo React calendar also gives you complete control over the styling. You can choose one of our many pre-existing themes or swatches, or use our Figma kits to dive deep into the design of the calendar in all its various states. 
Suffice to say, you have all the control you need to get the calendar matching everything else on the page so that it looks completely seamless in your application. One of the few places where the default calendar usually wins is the realm of accessibility. Because the default calendar is innately fully accessible, that often trumps the alternatives, no matter how much more beautiful or consistent they might be. But what if you could have both? A calendar component that's not just easy to use and completely customizable, but also entirely accessible for screen readers with full WAI ARIA support and Section 508 compliance. Well, you can have your fully accessible cake and eat it too with Kendo React. The calendar uses the ARIA selected, ARIA disabled, and ARIA active descendant properties on the nested elements, depending on the current state of the component and its options. It also supports the grid role, so each cell from the calendar has a grid cell role. And if you're using Kendo React, you get that full accessibility support not just on the calendar, but on every single one of the 100 plus components in the library, so you never have to worry about it. Your application is automatically accessible to every single one of your users. And at the end of the day, that's really what's most important. So it probably wasn't a huge shock to hear that the default calendar component doesn't quite cut it when it comes to modern application development. But rather than having to build a replacement yourself or try to cobble together a bunch of different components from various third-party libraries, you can just use Kendo React, make your life a little easier. Try it free for 30 days and see how much faster and easier your development process can really be. <laughs>